click the bell icon and subscribe to our channel so that you will not miss any classes in this class let us take up the production of pest resistant plants a nematode pest known as meloidogen incognitia is known to infect the roots of tobacco plant and causes the crop loss and this crop loss was prevented efficiently by the technology a novel technology called rna interference or in short we can refer it as rna hi rna interference is a defense mechanism it's a general defense mechanism in eukaryotes it's a general defense mechanism in eukaryotes and uh, let us define what actually happens during rna interference to define rna interference it is the silencing of specific in mrna by complementary binding of double stranded rna this is called rna interference let us take up the mechanism actually what happens then you will understand the definition now during rna interference what happens is in eukaryotic cells a gene is expressed in such a way that if it is a gene that is double stranded dna it undergo expression expression uh, i'll write it here first transcription it is transcripted in such a way that it will produce us both sense strand and the anti sense strand we have studied in molecular biology that only one strand that is acting as a template can undergo transcription and produces only one mrna that can undergo translation and produces the protein that is called gene expression but during rna interference in eukaryotic cells what happens is both the strands of dna will undergo transcription as a result there is production of both sense and anti sense strands of rna now sense and anti sense strands are complementary to each other they will form a double stranded rna so now this will not undergo translation and will not produce any protein now what happens to this to this mrna there is a binding of a enzyme called dicer dicer is a type of nuclease we have studied restriction enzyme likewise dicer is one of the nuclease restriction enzymes are also one of the nucleases okay so they can uh, uh, cut the dna at a specific site so here also dicer is a type of nuclease which will binds to double stranded rna and cut it into pieces pieces means they are having the length of about 21 to 23 base pair long and for these double stranded rna molecule the pieces we can call them as small interfering rna sequences or si rna refers to small interfering rna sequences now to this small interfering rna sequences there is a binding of an additional enzyme that is called helicase and nuclease and these together that is rna 
small interfering RNA sequence, helicase and nuclease together will form a complex called RNA induced silencing complex. RISC that refers to RNA induced silencing complex. Now, what happens? This is complex is readily available in the eukaryotic cell. It is produced upon this process. When a specific mRNA is produced, it may be of any pathogen. Okay, then when it is introduced into the eukaryotic cell, this RISC complex will bind with the single stranded mRNA of the pathogen. Remember, this is of pathogen. Now, this will bind to this mRNA and this is pathogen mRNA. Let us say the pathogen mRNA. Now, this pathogen mRNA is cut into pieces by the action of RISC. So then the replication or production of protein for the pathogen is stopped. Hence, pathogen will not divide or will not establish in the eukaryotic cell. So this is the normal defense mechanism. Now, this mechanism is exploited in plants to produce pest resistance. So what they did is, they have isolated the protein specific gene from a pest meloidogen incubation. That is, it has to produce some important protein. And this protein coding gene is isolated. Then it is introduced into the tobacco plant. In tobacco plant, this complex is ready. Now think, this protein coding gene is made to produce both antisense and sense strand. It will produce a double stranded RNA and it will bind with helicase nuclease and produce RNA induced silencing complex. When this complex is ready, whenever the pest infect the plant, then you think what happened? This meloidogenic commacia will produce the RNA required for its protein synthesis, but this complementary RNA is ready in the host plant that is in tobacco plant. It will go and straight away binds to the meloidogen incomatia produced RNA and it will chop into pieces. Now what happens? Meloidogen incomatia will not synthesize protein required for itself. As a result, it will die. Just think, they have isolated the gene from meloidogen incomatia itself and it they are using it to kill the same. Okay, so that's why we are calling it as a novel. It's a new technology, so which is exploited, and this is the mechanism of RNA interference. Yeah. Now I hope now you understood the definition. It is silencing of mRNA. mRNA is not expressed into protein. Why? Because of the complementary binding of double stranded RNA. Because the RNA is from the pathogen. So it is complementarily binding with the single stranded RNA of the pathogen and it is silencing it. And that's why it is called RNA interference. We are stopping the production of protein from RNA to protein. That's why we are interfering at the level of RNA. So we are referring the term RNA interference. Okay. Now uh, in next class let us take up the other uh, uh, aspects of application of agriculture in biotechnology like uh, production of flavor saver tomato then production of golden rice.